We have three days to look and move like a team of men. The best thing we have going for us is being who we are. Why? Because no one thinks we have the balls to pull this off. This is IMDb's Cast Connections. I'm Alex Logan, your host today. We're gonna meet the wonderful women of Widows, and we're gonna meet them from some connections in their past projects on IMDb. It's a little bit like Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon, but we use IMDb. All right, Gillian Flynn, co-writer of Widows, let's begin with you. Most people will know you from your novels and adaptations, Gone Girl, Dark Places, Sharp Objects, but you do have one acting credit on IMDb. You played yourself. Oh, the oh, the Mindy Project. The Mindy Project. Wow, Gillian Flynn, I am such a fan. You should read my fan fiction for Gone Girl. What is it like playing Gillian Flynn on TV? Well, I knocked it out of the park. Yes, I gotta tell you, uh, <laughs> it was pretty good. No, I don't think they'll be calling me to uh, doing sort of recurring role on any show anywhere anytime soon. Wait, wait, what's Ben Affleck like? So on that show, you were on with uh, Mindy Kaling and Ike Barinholtz as well, who has been a co-star of you, Miss Davis, uh, in 2016. The film being Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad, exactly. Everyone has a weakness, and a weakness can be leveraged. It's very cathartic to play a character that is completely without vulnerability, you know, no holes barred, completely strong, badass, no apologies. It was great being intimidating to men. <laughs> <laughs> and hiding behind my character with a fro. That is just a mean lady. Can we please see I more am. of Amanda Waller, please? Absolutely. Oh, I like her. I mean, where do we even begin with your 79 credits on IMDb? Yeah. I, I, how to get away with murder, fences. The help's a good one. Who's clapping for? You acted alongside an actor as Preacher Green, David Oyelowo. Yeah. Amen. Any ideas who recently was in a film with him? As he looks at you. <laughs> Coming up, uh, 2019 film, Chaos Walking. Yes, yeah. yeah. I know you can't talk about that one, but suddenly you're everywhere. What's that like? You know, you wait and it's happening and it's quite slow and then all of a sudden it just happens and then mm -hmm. the stuff happens and you get another one and another film. And so it, I'm sort of like riding the wave almost because I'm still sort of learning how to like balance in this new world of film because it's, it's very new to me. I think I was thrown in, I'm sort of <laughs> swimming in very, very rough waters because it's happening very, very fast, but I'm having a really great time doing it. You vouch for her. I don't require a vouch. Back to Chaos Walking for a second, your co-star Daisy Ridley has had an interesting connection. She has an upcoming movie for Netflix called Super Normal with Luke Evans, who has played in a couple movies that I've seen that you might have been in, correct? Uh, yeah, uh, as yeah. Owen Shaw, <laughs> Fast and Furious 6, Furious 7, yeah. and The Fate of the Furious. It's a good story, isn't it? We share an odd background of uh, being raised Jehovah Witness. <laughs> so we were like, oh we're like sitting there, like almost like AA meeting, like, yeah, man, you had to deal with that growing <laughs> up, like, dude, right on. I want my kids to know that I didn't just sit there and take it, I did something. Michelle, you have a co star in The Fate of the Furious. Charlize Theron was in Dark Places, which came from a Gillian Flynn novel. What are you talking about? Now we've brought it all back. That's really cool. That is really cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That is yeah. really cool. That's really cool. That's really cool. That's really cool. Yeah. Probably could pull Kevin Bacon into it if we tried. Ah, that's right? awesome. <laughs> I love Footloose. 